Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, US market on uh, Friday had seen some positiveness, uh, mainly driven by tax stock, uh, specifically uh, Amazon, which has moved up very sharply on uh, Friday. Uh, apart from that, uh, if you see the US futures are uh, negative today, and even the Asian markets are uh, negative. Uh, mainly driven by geopolitical tension increasing in Russia and Ukraine. And apart from that, uh, Friday, uh, the employment data came very strong in the US, which is indicating that uh, the rate increase is imminent and will be coming soon. And that's why uh, most of the Asian markets are seeing some negativeness. China is of opened after a, a holiday of over a week. And uh, there we are seeing some positiveness, but apart from that, the other Asian markets are negative. Uh, in commodity, oil is consistently moving up and now over 93.5, almost uh, above uh, many years high. And uh, this is mainly driven by chilling uh, wave in uh, Texas, which is a uh, major producing of oil in US. And that has resulted into uh, higher oil prices. Uh, apart from that, uh, aluminum in LME is up by around 0.8% and copper is flat. Iron ore uh, in uh, China uh, after a gap of opening is up by around 2.3% and steel is up by around 1.5%. Overall, we are seeing some softness in the international market and which can have an impact on the Asian market, Indian market as well. I'll ask a technical team to take up from here. Uh, yes, thank you, sir. Good morning, all of you. This is Fadi. Uh, Friday, we have seen that the somehow Nifty managed to maintain a closing about the today's moving average, which comes to at around uh, above the 17,500 level, which gives some sort of a relief sign. But looking towards the today's Asian market, I believe our Nifty is likely to open slightly on a negative note, and we like to see witness a sideways momentum during the day. Now, on the technical background, uh, the immediate support is placed at 17,470, 17,440 levels. If the Nifty breaks track support level, then the selling pressure is likely to be extended, intensified, which might take a Nifty towards 17,370 to 17,300 levels on the lower side. Whereas on the higher side, uh, the resistance is placed at around 17,570. Any more about that level on the closing basis, will only extend the pullback rally or we might see some sort of a buying which might come into the Nifty, uh, which take the Nifty towards 17,670 to 17,800 levels. As of now, uh, 17,650 will be a strong resistance level provided by its 100 DMA. Coming towards the bank Nifty, bank Nifty uh, looks really strong compared to the Nifty because it's well placed above all the important moving averages, say 300 and 200 DMA. But a Friday, we have witnessed the selling pressures. Now, looking towards the technical chart, I believe uh, we might see some more selling pressure into the bank Nifty. But it has a strong uh, support levels at around 38,500 levels. Uh, if it breaks that level, then only we can see some more selling pressure, which might take a bank Nifty towards 38,200 to 38,000 levels. 38,000 is the strong support level provided by its 100 DMA. Whereas a higher side, uh, 39,000 will be the psychological resistance level. Any more about that level will uh, witness some buying into the bank Nifty, which might take a indices towards 39,300 to 39,500 levels on the higher sides. Now coming towards the Nifty Finance for the today intraday purpose, support is placed at 17,670. Below that level, 17,570 levels can be seen. Whereas on higher sides, uh, 17,940 is the first resistance level. Any more about that level, we believe some sort of a positive momentum which might take a bank uh, Nifty Finance towards 18,100 to 18,200 levels. Uh, I think that's it from my end. I request derivative guys to take a call forward. Yeah, thank you, Swati. See, on the derivative front, uh, looking at the overall open interest, open interest has come down considerably. See, uh, uh, two days back, it had witnessed a 10% increase, and that everything has come down. 
so there is a almost a 10% decrease uh, of open uh, open interest overall uh, which is good for the markets um cost of carry is uh, uh, the same um the pcr is at around 0.9 odd which is the same uh vix uh, around the 19 levels not much change there but uh, you know overall uh, looking at the data uh, we are a little bit light on data so probably you know not that much selling will come in but we expect a uh, range bound trade only uh, for uh, the index so at this point of time uh, nifty around 17500 has a very good support area uh, some uh, 60 odd lakh shares uh, are there at the 17500 put stride uh, which suggests um, <clears throat> a good open uh, you know uh, support area on the downside uh, on the upside there are a host of resistances uh, in between 17800 and 18000 levels so uh, you know probably the range for nifty for the next uh, couple of days can be around 17500 to 17800 odd levels so we should uh, remain uh, within this range with uh, not much uh, up or down movement uh, looking at uh, you know uh, the stock specific front uh at this point of time uh, cement most of the cement cores have witnessed a lot of uh, decline in open interest which is a very good sign because you know now uh, large uh, large cap cement cores are probably the ones which are in fno uh, will continue to witness uh, a long build up which can take them upwards so ultra tech acc ambuja these are the stocks uh, which can really move up uh, we continue to hold uh, that the metals uh, stocks uh, which are good will continue to witness good buying action and uh, uh, looking at uh, sale tata steel nmdc uh, uh, specifically the psu uh, metal pack good amount of uh, you know longs have been built in into their system so very likely now they are going to move up uh, for the probably for for the next 10 15 days metals will do very well uh, banking as a whole has also witnessed good amount of buying action and they will continue to move up bank nifty is very strong vis a vis the nifty so nifty will remain range bound but bank nifty very likely is going to move up uh, and go towards the 40000 levels going forward so at this point of time uh, concentrate on the banks on the long side as well uh, that's it from my side i like to as a fundamental team to take uh, take over please uh, good morning everyone uh, state bank of india result was above expectation uh, there is good reduction in slippages sma book uh, uh, both are amongst the lowest in the industry and also we witnessed this quarter a good quarter on quarter increase of 5.5% in the loan book um so all things are falling in place for the bank and uh, it still remains cheap at uh, just one time forward the uh, book value uh, so there is good scope for upside in sbi even from current levels uh, we had recommended it uh, in the monthly pick recently also and we remain positive uh, bank of baroda result was also above estimate uh, uh, a similar kind of story here asset quality is improving uh, slippage was at uh, 1.9% versus 3.3% quarter on quarter Uh, SMA book is also declining. Uh, uh, ROA this quarter was at point seven percent. We expect that with each passing year, uh, it will increase by around ten basis points, uh, and uh, stock is trading at point uh, eight times uh, book value. So we think both parameters will move in tandem, and uh, gradual re-rating will continue in Bank of Baroda also. Credit access Gramin uh, result was uh, above estimate. Gross NPA came at six percent versus quarter on quarter seven point seven percent. so a good uh, fall uh, here uh, since few years company has been voluntarily uh, recognizing uh, gross npa on 60 days past due basis uh, and hence it did not have any impact on the change in uh, rbi norms uh, and in fact asset quality improved despite of being uh, catering to the uh, bottom of the pyramid customers uh, company has not had uh, any witness uh, wit- did not witness any impact of the third wave also in the month of january despite uh, the third wave of covid um, so that is also positive and the collection efficiency uh, continues to increase uh, uh, even in the month of january so positive on credit access city union bank uh, result was uh, marginally above estimate uh, 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 because of improved asset quality although loan growth uh, remains on the low side at around 5% management said that they will uh, accelerate uh, slowly going forward and uh, uh, 10 12 percent kind of loan growth uh, is achievable next year so positive in the long term uh, nothing uh, 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 major in the short term 
Ujjivan Small Finance Bank uh, result uh, was marginally above expectation uh, because of better asset quality. However, we advise caution on the company as uh, 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 despite uh, having elevated uh, uh, you know uh, slippages and uh, NPAs, the uh, bank continues to do aggressive disbursements, uh, which is which we are, did not see in the case of other MFIs where. Uh, people are still cautious and gradually in increasing disbursements. So this, it is possible that uh, these disbursements could be towards uh, uh, additional loans to existing borrowers. So uh, uh, we are cautious and neutral on Ujjivan. Uh, central uh, CDSL uh, result was okay. Quarter on quarter growth in revenue and EBITDA was around 4%. Um, so uh, uh, kind of soft quarter, uh, but uh, industry tailwind remains intact. So from long term perspective, we are positive. Uh, Minda Corporation, uh, the auto ancillary company, uh, posted uh, okay results. Uh, uh, it was in line with uh, what is happening in the industry. Both sales EBITDA were flattish. Uh, uh, around four to five percent of revenues in next year will come from uh, EV products. Uh, that is a good sign. Uh, uh, if this coincides with uh, an upturn in the two wheeler industry, then the stock uh, can do very well going forward. Uh, but from a near term perspective, I uh, don't see any major uh, upside here, but from we are positive in the long term. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Uh, CIPLAS, uh, uh, there's a negative reaction we expect. That's a sentimental negative. As a CF, uh, CFO, uh, Mr. Kedar Upadhyay has resigned to pursue opportunities outside pharma industry. Uh, so he has been quite instrumental in changing the current course of the uh, of the business uh, along with Umang Vora, who's the CEO of the company. So we expect some uh, negative impact in today's trade. Lupin's result, we knew that the results were down. In fact, the commentary was a uh, little subdued as per us. Uh, the new launches are all expected in second half of FFI 23. Therefore, in near term, we expect the margin pressure to continue. However, they are, uh, the company is saying that they would inch towards 14% margins from 13.7 in next for next year, but we don't see much upside from the from these levels. RTE Industries are, came out with the results and results were broadly in line with expectations. If you adjust the one-time termination fee, which the company has included in the sales itself. So netting of that, uh, the results are broadly in line with the expectations. Narayan Hardale uh, continue its positive trend and came out with above expectation results. We are seeing uh, quarter on quarter that company is posting good results. And uh, this time also the margins have improved to 18.2 versus expectation of 16.7. So we believe the stock uh, would continue positive track trend today's trade also. Juvil and Famuma have announced their results and results were below expectations. The key factor for the such subdued reaction or the results was the generics business, which faced many headwinds during this uh, quarter. And we believe that this would take some more time to uh, rectify or to show some recovery. That is why we are changing our stance and become negative on for the near term on this company. Uh, GNFC, that is Gujarat Namada Valley Fertilizer and Chemicals, announced their results. And results have improved uh, uh, in this uh, quarter, margins have improved to 28%, versus, which is an improvement both uh, sequentially as well as uh, YOY. Aditya Birla Fashion announced their results and results were above expectations. Uh, the beta margins have improved to 19.5 versus expectation of 18.5. Devyani International came out with the results and results have improved. Uh, this is uh, followed by the commentary what the company has given during the con call, which was also uh, quite positive uh, uh, going forward. Uh, we are positive on Devyani as well as on Sapphire. However, in the priority, Sapphire is the uh, is on above uh, than Devyani because of the valuations uh, gap between the two. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Atle India has posted its result. The company has posted improved set of numbers for the quarter with revenue growth coming in at 23.6% Q on Q. Higher uh, growth in the revenue has led to higher profitability to the company with the EBITDA coming growth came in at 30.1% Q on Q at 67.7 crores. Stock is trading at 69.9 times FI23 EPS. Uh, Go Fashion, uh, after its listing, the company has posted its result for the first 
first time uh, and the company has posted improved set of numbers for the quarter with revenue growth coming in at, at 26.7 percent q on q even EBITDA margins have improved to 36.7 percent versus qoq of 31.4 percent stock is trading at ev by sales of 14.6 times ttt am epa sales uh, CMS Info System has also posted its result for the first time after its listing and the company has posted improved set of numbers for the quarter. Uh, revenue growth came at 8.5% Q on Q and EBITDA margins came in at 26% versus QOQ of around 25.6%. Uh, stock is trading at 16.8 times Q3 annualized EPS. Thank you. Apart from this, a uh, few more results. A uh, lot of cement company has come up with the number uh, like uh, JK Cement and then Bedla Corp and Sri Cement. Uh, JK Cement the result was more of uh, in line, whereas uh, Bedla Corp and Sri Cement's uh, results were below expectations. Uh, but we see that uh, the uh, EBITDA per ton had seen decline everywhere uh, because of the increasing cost. Uh, uh, the price prices has not uh, sustained and the volume was also under pressure for most of the company. Uh, comparative to other player, uh, JK Cement has shown uh, better uh, uh, this thing, better outcome. Uh, Bidla Corp has seen a decline of EBITDA per ton of almost around uh, 150 rupees uh, quarter on quarter. Uh, whereas uh, if you see the uh, Sri Cement and JK Cement. Uh, JK Cement has shown comparatively lesser decline. And similar is the uh, Sri Cement has seen uh, margin decline of around uh, uh, around 500 basis point quarter on quarter. So Sri Cement has seen uh, results below expectations. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Apart from that, uh, another company that is Siemens has come up with the numbers though the margin has declined, uh, uh, margin has come in line but lower than expectations. So the expectation was of around 11.2% against that 10.7%. So more of a, a 50 basis point, but the order book has increased uh, very good. Uh, around 2000 crore new order book has, increased, has come. And the order book has increased from around 13,500 to 15,500. So that can act a uh, uh, bit positive for Siemens in the coming period. So overall result were in line. Then Sarda Energy came up with the number. Re results apparently seems uh, declining mainly because of uh, their uh, hydropower business, which is more of a seasonal business. And uh, as such is showing uh, uh, decline quarter on quarter though last year the largest hydro project was not there so at such year on year it looks quite strong uh, and apart from that uh, they had shown good uh, profitability in uh, uh, in uh, ferroloy segment whereas uh, iron ore uh, pellet business had seen some softness uh, going forward uh, in uh, Sarda Energy, what we see that uh, the next quarter again continue to remain soft for uh, hydropower, whereas Magnes, uh, Silico Magnes prices has also come off a bit. So Q4 uh, uh, Magnes uh, margin in Silico Magnes also is likely to soften, whereas uh, uh, pellet prices are also, if we see quarter on quarter, are uh, uh, more of a flatish or marginally moving up. But the major benefit for the Sarda crop came as for the Sarda energy will be coming from uh, the coal mine which uh, they won uh, recently and uh, the production in the coal mine has started in November. So that will add up a lot of benefit to or profitability to Sarda in the coming quarter. So uh, going forward, uh, things are likely to be positive for Sarda crop as uh, uh, the benefit of uh, coal mine will be reflected in the fourth quarter and uh, pellet prices are also seeing some uh, improvement uh, gradually in the uh, last 10-15 uh, days. So if these prices keep on moving up, then can have a positive impact on the Sarda energy. So overall outlook looks positive. Stock is trading somewhere around four times maybe by beta for trailing uh, four quarters uh, earning. Now uh, results for uh, tomorrow. So Bajaj Electrical is likely to report number. We had seen most of the consumer companies had seen some presses on uh, margins. 
and similar is the case expected with uh, Bajaj Electrical as well and result is likely to decline. Bata India, most of the retail company had shown good growth year on year. We had seen ABFR also per stop everywhere. Uh, even uh, uh, Metro Suze also reported very good numbers. So possibilities uh, are that uh, Bata also is likely to report very good numbers uh, in this quarter. Uh, Bharti Airtel again is likely to show improved set of numbers. Uh, here we had seen that uh, uh, the most of the telecom company has taken price increase uh, towards the end of this quarter. So some benefit will be coming in this quarter, but the major benefit will be coming in the fourth quarter. So there will be some improvement uh, visible in this quarter as well for our theater. Then endurance technology is likely to report number and numbers are likely to be more of a okay set of number. They are the major customer is Bajaj Auto. They had reported comparatively better set of number as compared to other two-wheeler player. Then Escorts is likely to report declining set of numbers. Uh, we had seen that of late uh, tractor sales are coming down and uh, this will have an impact on the, the uh, company and also uh, the cost inflation is also impacting most of the auto companies. Then Godrej consumer product is likely to show more of a okay set of number. Most of the consumer company or FMCG company has shown very soft uh, increase in volume and similar case is expected for Godrej consumer also and the margins are also uh, more of a flattish or marginal lower. So okay set of number for Godrej consumer product. Granules is likely to report improved set of numbers quarter on quarter. Uh, last quarter was very bad and from there uh, we may see some revival in this quarter though year on year it will remain soft uh, but quarter on quarter some improvement will be visible in this quarter. Then Godrej, uh, Gujarat gas is likely to report number here uh, because of the uh, high increase in prices of uh, gas, uh, uh, the revenue will increase substantially, but the margins are likely to come down uh, also as uh, they are not able to pass on fully the gas prices. So uh, result will be declining. Heidelberg Cement again, uh, most of the cement company had shown declining set of number and here again, uh, expectation of around 100 rupees decline in EBITDA per ton quarter on quarter. IRCTC is likely to show improved set of numbers, uh, though the revenue may not be able to reach to pre-COVID level and will be at around 73% of uh, uh, pre-COVID level. Uh, but uh, uh, EBITDA is likely to reach much nearer uh, and are likely to be around 93% as compared to pre-COVID level. So results are likely to show good improvement uh, both quarter on quarter and year on year. Indrapras gas again is likely to show declining set of numbers uh, like uh, Gujarat gas. Uh, Jindal steel and power is likely to report numbers and numbers are likely to be more of okay set of numbers. Uh, there will be some softness uh, in a beta and a beta per ton quarter on quarter. Uh, last quarter they reported around 21,500 a beta per ton which is likely to come off by around 2,000 rupees in this quarter. And volume is also likely to come off uh, quarter on quarter and year on year in this quarter because of a low demand in this quarter. Then MGL, that is Mahanagar gas, again likely to report uh, declining number like in the press gas and Gujarat gas. NCC is likely to report okay set of numbers, both on margins and revenue growth is expected at around 28% year on year and margins is likely to be around 11%, which is their uh, more of a uh, sustained margin. Reddington is likely to report number. Numbers are likely to be okay. Revenue is likely to increase by around 7% year on year and EBITDA is likely to show some improvement uh, of around 10-20 basis points year on year. That's all from us. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in-depth interviews of India Inc. and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.